In the video for today, I'm going to speak to you about how to permanently ensure that your phone dialer goes back to the older version as compared to the new update from Google. So a few weeks back, I had made a video in which I'm showing you how to go back to the old dialer interface because Google had released an update and uh, because of which your dialer looked something like this to the left and we did not like it, right? So I showed you in the video clearly how to go from this, the new update to the older version. And I have also spoken to you about a permanent fix to ensure that it doesn't go back to the new dialer. But I think some of us didn't have the option or did not understand. So the video for today is specifically for showing you how to ensure that this is a permanent fix that going further, you don't have to go back to the old dialer. This has worked for a lot of people. I'm sure it is going to work for you as well. So in order for you to do this, all you have to do is just get hold of your Android phone and open Play Store. Once you're here, just do a search for dialer and select the first option. You could see that you have the application out here, phone by Google. Select that option, click on the three dots or the menu. Here in the drop down, you could see that this is checked. The third option, enable auto update. You need to uncheck this. So when you uncheck this, what happens is that whenever there is an update from Google, the other applications are okay. But this application in specific is not going to get updated. So if you want to ensure that uh, you actually have this kind of an interface going further, just disable this option, enable auto update. But if you want to enable it, just come back here and check this and you could enable it out here. Another way to get to this option is to open settings. Once you do that, scroll down, click on apps, open all the applications or click on see all apps and then do a search for phone out here. Click on this option, scroll right down and then you click on app details. Here you're going to get directed to Google Play itself. If you didn't understand the first procedure, click on the three dots and uh, disable that. The third option. This should fix your problem. Take care, my friend. Thank <music> you.